Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Vintage Cruiser 19 BFD. This is a new floor plan from Vintage Cruiser. I'm really excited about it because you get the vintage look and everything you want, but it has bunks, so you're able to sleep the entire family. As you can see, this particular uh, model does have the Woody package on there as well. Let's start right up front here. You'll see you have the powered tongue jack, make it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Propane tank cover behind that with your two 20 pound tanks. Of course, just undo these thumb screws and lift up the door to be able to access both of those tanks. Behind your cover here is your rail for your battery box. Right underneath that, you will see a tube. This is for your uh, sewer hose. Because this unit doesn't have your square tubular bumper, uh, this is where you would store the sewer hose. And then coming right up front here is diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You also see on the far side there you have a light in case you need a little bit of a light at nighttime if you're anything like me. A lot of times you're hooking up at night, maybe get after, uh, get out, get out there after work. This is, uh, makes it a lot easier to go ahead and do that. Now one of the things I love about the Vintage Cruiser is the construction. If you take a look, this is one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up on the roof and down the back. Uh, the reason that's really beneficial is because that is less chance for any kind of water intrusion. And the number one enemy when it comes to travel trailers is having water get in at the roof line. So the less seams and holes you can put up there, the better. So because it's one piece, you don't have the seams going across. And because of the curvature of the RV, naturally the water runs to the front and back. So it's kind of a double bonus there. No seams, the water's running that way, helps keep the campsite dry right here as well. Uh, if you take a look right up front, this is pretty nice. This is ZAMP solar ready. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable ZAMP panels. The panels have the controller built in, plug it in right there, and that will trickle charge the battery. Your pass-through storage compartment has a covered hinge, so you won't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It's also a slam latch, and you will see it has a magnet on there too, so you don't have to worry about breaking off any plastic tabs. You take a look inside, you'll see it is a, a pretty spacious pass-through, especially for a smaller travel trailer. Then you have the LED light going all the way across. I like the fact it goes all the way through there, it's not just a little light. really brightens that compartment up, especially if you have to get in there at night. You take a look right here, you'll see this does have a nice power awning. Uh, it does cover both the door as well as the outside entertainment center we'll get to in just a moment. But just touch a button to have that roll out, same thing to go back in. And you'll notice a couple things on the awning. One, right in the heads here you have Solera speakers built in. The cool thing about that is when your awning is extended, the music will actually play down on your campsite rather than blasting out at your neighbors. Uh, and those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here in your lounge chair underneath your awning with your smart device, be able to control the media right on your device, you can certainly do that. You'll also see you have an LED light strip that is sewn into the awning. The cool thing about that is it doesn't matter if your awning is you know, where it's at right now or fully extended, you will always have that light right down on your campsite if you decide to turn that on. Getting into the coach is quite simple. You have two steps right here, even though it is a lower profile coach, so I do like having the second step. Again, just making life a little easier on you. The other cool thing is they use a friction hinge door. So what you notice is where you put the door is kind of where it stays. Uh, it can withstand winds. They save up to 20 miles an hour, which is really cool. And again, because it's a bunk model, you don't have to worry about the kids, you know, ripping anything out of the sidewall where it attaches, nothing like that. You don't have a strut that makes it stop right here. You can still fold it open to have this nice open space. One of the other cool things that uh, they've done with the 2018s, before the Vintage Cruiser had a drop down step right here and only one step. So what they've done, as I mentioned, they went to two and then flattened this out. It's much less of a hazard. That way, late at night, you're not tripping over that. That was definitely a good change. Right out here is your outside TV. Uh, so I talked about this on all the Vintage Cruiser videos I've done, but I kind of want to demonstrate it a little bit. So this is your bracket right here, your TV obviously mounts on there. The neat thing about this, you can take this off, take this right back inside. So if you want to watch TV inside, uh, rainy day, perfect. But it's a nice day, sun shining, you want to come out, you can extend the awning, drop that right down into place. It's still on a swing arm mount, so you can adjust that wherever you want. And then your hookups are right underneath here. If you take a look at the uh, wheel there, it's pretty nice. You have the cover on here, gives it that uh, retro look. Nitrogen filled tires, and they have the white wall on there too. Again, just helping with that whole uh, vintage look of this camper. 
If you come around to the back side, one of the cool things I want to show you is this right here. Uh, so this is a bunk model, of course, but what they have done is they give you a door and this really makes storage much easier. So not only do you have that pass through up front, but what you can actually do is lift this bed up and you have all this storage right underneath here, which is great. So that goes all the way up. You can put bikes in there, grills in there, whatever you want. Uh, but it just makes it again, easy to load and unload this RV. Then right up top here, you'll also notice that this unit is prepped for a backup camera. So if you want that, Again, very easy to have installed. Welcome to the inside of the 2018 Vintage Cruiser 19 BFD. Let's start off right over here. This is straight across from the door. One of the things I love that Vintage Cruiser does is they match the panels here with the rest of the RV, which really helps bring out that vintage look. As you will see, this one is in the crimson red. When we open this up, now you can see your fridge freezer combo there, plenty of space. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Now, not only do you have good cold storage here, but you also have a nice large pantry right next door to it. Uh, again, especially in a coach that's a little bit shorter, it's nice to have that pantry space. Directly above that, you have your multimedia center here. Uh, this is what I mentioned that controls the speakers outside. You can see your different zones here to control the speakers outside as well as the speakers inside here. And this unit is Bluetooth capable. Uh, if you take a look right up top here, you'll see you have your TV connection, your outlets. Also, you see audio video jacks there. This unit is Bluetooth capable as well. So if you want to watch movie, you can pop it in and then just plug in your audio video cables from the jacks there into the back of the TV. Last thing I want to mention on this side, you will see right over here, you have a nice big drawer. Go ahead and open that up for you. So good space there too for anything else you want to store. Now across the way is the rest of the kitchen. Uh, starting up top here, you see they do have a cutout. If you want to throw some decor or something up there, you can. Uh, you know, if you want to store things up there again, you can do that too. But obviously it's a little bit higher, a little bit tougher to reach. Underneath, LED lights to help brighten up the kitchen here. And then as we open this guy up, you see a nice big storage area right there. Uh, this hose is for your outside spray port. Uh, outside on the off door side, I don't think I showed it, but you do have a spray port as well as a black tank flush over there. Uh, right over here is the microwave stainless steel. Underneath that is your stainless steel hood with the light and fan. One of the big changes they made that I really like is they put an LED light in here. And I know it seems silly, but a lot of people don't realize when you have LED lights throughout the whole coach, they'll turn on the hood light and it's a huge battery drain. So having LED there is definitely a big advantage. Uh, right underneath that, you have your cooktop. Now they do give you a cover here, which is really nice because you don't have a ton of countertop space. So having that cover, being able to use that as prep space is great. Uh, but two burner cooktop right there. Also, they give you sink top covers. Again, same principle. So you're able to use this as prep space. When we take that off, that reveals your double bowl sink, larger bowl on the left, smaller one there on the right with the high rise faucet. If we take a look underneath some of the storage, you'll see they do have a built-in shelf here, but again, nice extra pantry space down below. You have three drawers here, so plenty of room for silverware. And then right underneath where your cooktop is, you will see you have excellent storage there. They went with storage here in lieu of the oven just because a lot of times people don't use the oven and most people do utilize any storage they can get their hands on. Now right across the way here is the bathroom. If we open it up and take a look, you will see that uh, it is a good sized bathroom in here. Right down in the corner there, you have a foot flush lever toilet. Uh, then you'll see right next to that, you have nice big countertop space, a little cubby hole there, perfect for a trash can, some storage underneath the sink. Up top, your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that, of course. And take a look at the size of the fan in here. You want to get moisture out quickly, this will certainly do it. It's a, a larger fan than you normally get in most bathrooms. Right over here, you can see the curved shower rod to give you some more space in the tub shower. And it is a tub, so that way, again, if you have little ones that are camping with you, which chances are you will because you have the bunks here, you're still able to give them a bath. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back real quick. Uh, so a couple things back here. One, you have a built-in ladder. It, a lot of times you don't have this. You're forced to step on this bunk to be able to climb up in the top. So I do like they went ahead and included that. Uh, of course, you have a curtain here for privacy as well. You have both the top and bottom bunks here. Uh, as I showed you, um, underneath we have the door. Up top you have the nice window there. You can see the door there for the storage. LED lights in both. You have a vent up here as well if you need some airflow. Then across on the other side, you do have TV hookups right up here. So if you do want TV, that's where to hook up at as well as a dual USB port. 
So we open this up. This is actually wardrobe. You can see the hanging wardrobe space there, which is great. Again, you don't get that very often in a bunk model unless you have like a big bunk house. So I like the kids have wardrobe. And you have some additional space right up here at the headboard. So you may be asking yourself, how do they fit all of this in a 19-foot RV? Well, the answer is right up front, and that is they put in a Murphy bed, which I think in this coach and this setup is a great idea. It gives you a lot of space in the back. Still, still allows you to have a dinette here and the bed. Uh, now this one is a little bit of work, but it's really, again, a great space savings. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set it up. So this particular dinette table has foldable legs. The first step is you fold those legs up and then you drop it down. It will sit on both sides along the rails, which have Velcro to make sure this doesn't slide around on you. The next step is then to remove the cushions. You can see I did locate some here underneath, nice and easy to stick under there. The other one I've just set up like this because the bed will easily clear it. So then what you do, you have this guy right here, you just pull that out and you fold the bed right down like so. You will see that the shelf that was here now acts as your support for the bed. The last step of course is simply to make the bed. One of the cool things about the Vintage Cruiser is they do give you the custom blanket on here as well as the pillow shams. Again, helps bring that whole look together. Uh, just so you know, on both sides underneath the dinette seats, you do have storage there. That's where I would recommend storing this, uh, right on this side over here. The other side is actually where your spare tire is located. So this coach does come with the spare tire. Again, hopefully you never have to get in there, but if you do, you know it's inside and it's gonna be in great shape. Both sides of the bed you will see also have uh, hanging wardrobe space. You can see that right there. Reading lights here on both sides. Shelf going all the way across the top. If you look underneath, you will see you have an electrical outlet on both sides there too. One has USB ports. That way if someone has to have a CPAP machine or something, you have a place to plug that in at. But all right, folks, that wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2018 Vintage Cruiser 19 BFD. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you come uh, give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.